we have certain problems. You know, you've all kind of seen, well, the nightclub thing, when they go set in the nightclub, you know, the drums are back here, the guitar's over there, the bass over there, and the guys are in the front line, and the singer's up there, and everything's pop, pop, pop. But they go in the studio, they can't set up like that. There's no way. Why? Well, we have problems. Well, let's just say this has got his microphone and his saxophone. The bell is down here, so it's about eight inches away from his saxophone bell. Flute mic is over here, and we're going to get it up here because the flute is like this, right? You know? So we're going to get it right about here. And now it's about eight or ten inches away from the flute sound source, correct? Okay, now she's going to play her flute, and it's going to travel from the sound source 1,100 feet a second to the microphone, the speed of sound. And then it's going to go... 1,100 feet a second over and leak under this. And this is going to play his saxophone eight inches away, and it's going to travel 1,100 feet a second to this mic, and then it's going to travel over here 1,100 feet a second and leak on this mic. Okay, put it down. Now. Put it down. Now. Did you get that picture? Okay, now, I'm in the control room. I got Eek's mic over here, and I got this mic over here, right? I got both mics off, and I raised Meek's mic up. I hear a lot of flute and some saxophone, right? I put it down. I raise Liz's mic. I hear a lot of saxophone and some flute. Now, I leave Liz's mic up. I raise Meek's mic. Is the volume going to get louder or softer? The, just the overall volume. It's going to get louder? How many say louder? How many say softer? It's going to get softer because a lot of the frequencies are going to cancel or partially cancel. Because if they're only 90 degrees out of phase, it's going to partially cancel. Whatever the degree of their out of phaseness is the degree that the frequency is going to cancel. Here's what happens. You see, in air, sound travels 1,100 feet a second. But when it gets into the microphone, it travels the speed of electricity, which is the speed of light, which is 187,000 miles a second. Her flute sound traveled 1,100 feet a second, and then got picked up on the mic and went zip into the control room. And then it took its sweet time all the way over here and leaked onto this mic and then zip into the control room, right? Well, if I have a fundamental C, and then I have the next overtone that's going to be twice as fast as that, and then I have the next overtone that's going to be faster, and then I have the next overtone... And then the next one, and then the next one. You see what's happening? So there's all these frequencies at one time just coming when I play the one note. So in the air are all these pitches when she plays her flute. Now all those frequencies travel 1,100 feet to this microphone and then take their 1,100 feet sweet time to get over to here. Okay, well, when they get to the console, her flute frequency, the wave is in this position. But by the time it traveled all the way over there, that same wave is in this position. That's totally 180 degrees opposite. It's going to cancel. You will not hear it. It phase canceled out. It's gone. So now, not only are we going to affect the volume, but we're going to affect the texture because we've just messed with the overtone. Without doing anything, it's just because the two instruments are in the same room with two microphones. If I had one microphone, it wouldn't happen. The original classical orchestras would never let them be recorded with more than one mic. They didn't care because stereo wasn't the big thing back then. They didn't care for stereo. We want one mic because they could hear the difference of the phase cancellation with the, the over. Listen, when you're standing in front of an orchestra or playing in an orchestra, your ears hear everything. And suddenly when you hear a reproduction of that, you say, where's the... What happened to, you know, this or that of it? Then suddenly they, they didn't understand phasing. All they knew was, that's not the sound. As soon as you have microphone number two to a hundred, whatever, now you've got all these phase relationship problems in the room. Now, all of a sudden, not only do you need to control volume, but you've got problems in texture before you even do anything, just because you got the guy facing in the wrong direction in the room leaking on this other mic. That's why we have those baffles and things, so that we can protect the microphones from getting the sounds we don't want them to have. So now, when we do multi-instrument recording with multi-mics out here, every single one of those mics has the potential to introduce phase problems to your sound. So now, how you deal with the microphone, what kind of microphone it is, what's the polar pattern, 
what direction is it facing, and where do you have it on the instrument that you're trying to get has everything to do with what you're going to get. Now, here's the thing. If I did this on your mic, I would change the whole relationship. I just moved it two inches. Because I'm now changing the distance between there and here, and I am now changing what wave is going to be totally out of phase. You know what I'm saying? No, 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 you wouldn't hear that overtone. But you'd hear everything else. Well, I don't know which one canceled. Is it the one that makes it have brilliance? Then it's gone. Brilliance is gone. Is it the part of the, the, of the sound that, that gives it presence? The presence is now gone. But the sound is there. But the different portions, you see, we've adjusted the, the tonal quality by adjusting the overtones just as if we went to 10,000 cycles on the board and turned it off. 10K is gone. As a matter of fact, when some waves, let's say this wave right here, when this wave was on this microphone, it was like this. And when it got over to here, it was like that. That's going to add in volume because now they are agreeing.